Hey, how's it going? Gino Pettis Adventures. I'm Gino. If it's your first time, hit the subscribe, hit the like, hit the notification bell, and you'll get a lot of these. Uh, and that way you can go to my channel and see all the other videos that I've made. So today, we're sitting in El Parque Gallineral in San Gil, Santander, Colombia. And it is a beautiful natural park. But that's not what we're talking about today. We're talking about your vacation. And I've got my notes here, so you just have to bear with me. If you decide to come, that you might want to come down to Columbia and visit, and you're thinking, oh my God, but that's just so far and so expensive. Well, that's not the case. That is not the case. Well, it is far. But you can usually get a round trip ticket from most places in the United States from $550 to $750 round trip. Now, with uh, all the inflation thing that's going on and the airlines going crazy, I don't know. I can't guarantee that. But the last time I flew to Seattle was $780 round trip. Last time I flew to Miami was $188, not Miami, Fort Lauderdale, was $188 round trip. So there's some good airfares out there. You just got to look for them. Go on cheapoair.com, go on Google uh, Flights, Google Flights, and uh, just have to work. So with that being said, get your airfare, cost you six, seven hundred bucks, round trip. Pretty good price for anywhere, especially for going this far. So what we're gonna start with, we're gonna start with the hotels. You can stay in a middle of the road hotel, a medium motel that's really nice and safe and secure for about 20 bucks a day. So for a 14 day trip, that'd cost you 200, $280, not bad. I, the last time I, I think when I stayed in uh, Fort Lauderdale, one night was $230, not 14 nights. So that's an excellent, excellent value. They're always really secure and most of the times they have something something to eat right, right there. And then when you wanna talk about food, the food is uh, 20 bucks, about 20 bucks a day. 20 bucks a day, that's three meals. That's breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Uh, with a couple of beers, 20 bucks. So there we go. So for $280 a night, a night for $280 for 14 days of room in a hotel, to $180 for, um, for eats every day. Uh, miscellaneous, I threw in 70 bucks. That's about five bucks a day. You can buy a lot of stuff for five bucks here. And then, <clears throat> if you want to change your travel plans around and you want to go to a lot of different places, uh, some some bus rides are 12, 14, 16 hours. They're really inexpensive, but it's a lot easier just to fly. It's like an hour to fly. So if you wanted to come from Medellin to Bucaramanga, it probably cost you a hundred bucks. If you wanted to go from Bucaramanga to Bogota or Cartagena, it cost you a hundred bucks. So one-way flights anywhere in the country are running about a hundred dollars. So what I did is I put um, Two hundred dollars. Two hundred dollars for for plane fare. I put two hundred dollars for buses. That's like eight long trips. If you want to take eight long trips in fourteen days, or use it for flights. And taxis for about fifty bucks is all you're going to have to spend on taxis for the whole fourteen days. They're really inexpensive. A dollar, dollar fifty, take you anywhere. Two dollars take you anywhere in Bucaramanga, anywhere. So they're they're really cheap. The cab drivers are really nice, and uh, ninety nine percent of them won't try to rob you. There'll be always that one percent that'll try to rob you, but that's just that's anywhere. I mean, you know, go to Minnesota, see how that works out for you. And so let's see what else we got there. So miscellaneous. Shirts, baseball caps, stuff about Columbia. I put $150 in for souvenirs. Uh, and hold on. Oh, if you want to do sightseeing and tours, I put another $150 in, in there. We just checked on the local rafting here in San Hugh because that's a big thing. In the Rio Fonse, they have a 
four, five, six different rafting companies. The one we just checked out here costs 60,000 pesos, which is uh, $15. Yeah, $15 for a day of rafting. That's, that's pretty awesome. And uh, I don't know if it's a day. I don't know how long it takes. <clears throat> But I can ask my I can ask my tour guide Maria. Cuánto de ay mía cuánto demora uh, el viaje de, de, del bote del río. Treinta <coughs> minutos. No, pero matas medio día <coughs> o un día entero. Un día. Un día entero. Okay, so she's telling me it'll take a whole day. The rafting trip is a whole day. The actual run itself is only about a half an hour to an hour long, but they've got to get you all wound up and get you up there and get your life vests on and get you in the river and and then get you back out of the river. So, so there you go. So you're all in for like thirteen hundred and eighty dollars for a fourteen day trip. You add your airfare, call it even two thousand bucks. Where are you going to go? Two thousand dollars and have fourteen days with nice hotels, nice eats and nice tours. For example, this park we're in here is a national park. It cost us 10 pesos to get in, 10,000 pesos to get in, which is uh, blah, 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 $2 and 25 cents for two of us. So it's a buck 12, <laughs> a buck 12, can you imagine? So now all that being said, it's, it, it's a good deal. And so let me tell you a little about what, what you need to do when you get here. Well, before you get here, it's a good idea to bring cash because sometimes your ATMs work on your credit card and sometimes they don't. If they do, it's really nice. I've got a Wells Fargo and it seems to work, a Wells Fargo debit card, and it seems to work everywhere. And the exchange rate is not the best on the planet, but you can get, you know, you can get money at an ATM and uh, walk out of there with, with Colombian pesos. If not, what you can do is when you get to the airport, it's a good idea to buy some pesos. There'll be an exchange stand there. And like I said, you're not going to get the best exchange rate on the planet. But that's just, just part of the deal. Um, after, you, after you get into town, you can find another, another place, Casa de Cambio, another place to change your money. And you can do it. You can do it there if you run out of... Uh, pesos because they don't take dollars here and many many places don't take credit cards so it's a good idea to have cash but I give you one 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 word to the wise when you are changing your money be very aware of who's standing around you because if if you exchange a lot of money if you say for example if you exchange a thousand dollars at one whack uh, that's four million pesos the, the national average for a monthly salary is 2 million pesos. So if you don't think some of these guys that are broke and poor and hungry are going to rob you for 4 million pesos, you're mistaken. So just be aware. I mean, it doesn't happen often, but just be aware. So let's see, what else? Okay, we went over the hotel, went over the food, went over the miscellaneous, went over the taxis, the flights, uh, the shirts and the caps, souvenirs, got to have souvenirs and the sightseeing tour. So all that, you can have a wonderful, wonderful two weeks. And I would go to places like Cartagena. Yeah, I think you can fly direct from, from Fort Lauderdale or Miami to Cartagena for, for cheap. Uh, Cartagena is a pretty safe place. Uh, Bucaramanga is a pretty safe place. Bogota and Medellin are not, but if you're just going from the airport to the hotel, you'll be good. But I wouldn't go, I mean, I just, I have a really hard time going to Bogota anyway because of the altitude is 8,500 feet and I can't breathe. So you can get robbed in Bogota, well, you can get robbed anywhere. You can get robbed leaving the States and the Phoenix airport, but that's just life these days. So uh, the whole thing is I'm trying to tell you Come on down, check it out. And if you don't go crazy, you can you can do it a lot less expensive than thirteen, fourteen hundred dollars after you're here. And you can stay three weeks, four weeks, 
uh, and when you start doing that, you can actually rent a place. So come down, visit me, look me up on WhatsApp. People seem to be finding me. And uh, if I can help you out with any advice, I'll be glad to. So be safe. Come on down. The pesos, 4,070 pesos to a dollar. When I first started coming here, it was $3,500. So I, do, I, I got a raise. It's really nice. So if you would, hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, turn on the notification bell, and that way when I have a new video, which I'm going to be coming out with a lot of new videos, uh, you'll get it right to your uh, inbox. Have a good day. See you on the other side. God bless.